You know, life is precious. Good. No amount of money come out to a feeling nature brings. going on y'all we live from J.A. Mo Bay you know what they say get money don't care what them hoes say but look I'm really coming here to tell y'all give y'all a little update about what's going on essentially we just shot a music video and then now we getting some content finishing the little vlog we've been vlogging amidst everything you know Lean on my boy Jamar to come pick me up Go visit my grandpa The original You know what I mean? I say <laughs> I relate to him in so many ways, man He's like super wise Mystical creature almost yeah. Trust me, Shaggy's on and off, on and off But I can see you smiling very happily I'm here, man Pot on fire, so they won't be back Then I do for it, you know, it's funny looking back when I was a kid. It was 2008. I was probably eight years old. Exactly where I'm at right now in this video. My cousin Lake Shot grabbed a chicken from the coop and cut his head off. And um, the chicken kept running around, like headless. I swear it traumatized me, man. Don't trust this one. Don't trust this one. Don't trust that one. Nah. Don't trust that one. It's just funny to think about how the ways of life, man, being in America. For most of us who live in um, like inner cities, we're very disconnected from farm life and just like a natural way of living. So this is the house my dad grew up in. Every time we would come and visit, we would stay here. Hmm? We still like a hotel in here. Yeah. The beauty behind this clip is just seeing a Converse shoe being in Jamaica. It was founded in Malden, Massachusetts, which is where I'm from. I'm about to get out by tonight. Hold <laughs> on! Beverly hit the, the hills up there? This is this a little this alleyway. Is, this is hard. This is tough. This is hard. Yeah, Dog about to get run it. over. <laughs> you know, a lot of Americans come to Jamaica and 
they tend to only go to the resort life, which you really don't get the real Jamaican essence. So, so I had Jamar bring us through Tower Hill, so I can really see much deeper than just a resort, you know. I was flying a kite for the first time. I ain't know what the hell I was doing. But ting bon up me on them man. Nemuba. I done been to Jamaica so many times, but um, this trip was definitely different because it had real purpose behind it. It wasn't just to see family or uh, vacation or nothing like that. I was working on an album called Love Skate. If Fitz thought it would be good for me to get a, a reset, you know, just go back to my roots, where my people came from, and where everything started. And in that process, I wanted to show all my folks from back home where my people come from and, you know, how life in Jamaica really goes down. I also had to show you another reason I came out here for real, for real too, because I had to show people my culture and what, where I come from, like my lineage and all that. Cause people, it's crazy. People really come up to me thinking I'm Puerto Rican or Dominican sometimes, but really they think I'm Puerto Rican or something. I had to show, show the people where I come from, my background, my culture a little bit. Show y'all different sides of Jamaica. Countryside, a little bit of the gully, city life, all of that. And now, hotel life, you know? <laughs> 